Hi everyone, my name is Noel Mimasa F. Mendoza from the House of Slytherin. And for today's video, I'm going to give a film review about the movie Unfriended Dark Web. So what are you waiting for? Alright now! The Unfriended Dark Web is a horror movie directed by Stephen Sasko and released in 2018. The movie follows the story of a young man named Matthias who finds a stolen laptop and decides to keep it for himself. However, when he starts to use the laptop, he discovers a hidden folder containing disturbing videos of torture and murder. As he delves deeper into the dark web to uncover the truth behind the videos, Matthias and his friends become the target of a sinister group of hackers who will stop at nothing to keep their secrets hidden. The movie features actors such as Colin Woodell, Betty Gabriel, and Rebecca Rittenhouse, and was praised for its unique use of screen capture technology to create a realistic and terrifying atmosphere. Yes, it touches on several trends in ICT, particularly around internet privacy, cybercrime, and the dark web. One of the main themes of the film is the dark web, which is a part of the internet that is not indexed by search engines and is often associated with illegal activities. The film shows how easy it is for people to access the dark web and how it can be used for criminal purposes, such as buying and selling personal information, drugs, and weapons. The film also highlights the issue of online privacy and potential dangers of sharing personal information online. The main character discovers that his computer has been hacked and the hackers have access to all of his personal information, including his location and web, web, webcam feed. Another trend in ICT that the film touches on is the use of technology to commit crimes. The hackers in the film use a variety of tools and techniques such as key logging and social engineering to gain access to their target's computer and steal their information. Yes, the film portrays several internet threats that are relevant in the modern era. Here are some of the few examples. Number one is malware. The main character in the film discovers a hidden folder on a second-hand laptop that contains malware. This is a real threat that can infect computers and steal personal information. Number two is dark web. The movie revolves around a group of people who stumbled upon dark web chat room, where they witness illegal activities such as human trafficking and murder. The dark web is a part of the internet that is not easily accessible and is known for its illicit activities. Number three is cyberbullying. The characters in the film are subjected to cyberbullying and harassment, which can have serious psychological effects on the victim. Number four is identity theft. One of the characters has his identity stolen by a criminal who uses his personal information to commit fraud. Number one is be careful what you share online. The movie shows how easily our personal information can be accessed and used again against us. It is important to be mindful of what we share online and who we share it with. Number two is don't underestimate the power of technology. The movie shows how technology can be used to manipulate and control people. It is important to be aware of the potential risk of technology and to use it responsibly. Number three is think before you act. The movie shows how a simple mistake can have dire consequences. It is important to think before we act and to consider the potential outcomes of our actions. And number four is be cautious of strangers online. The movie shows how easy it is for people to pretend to be someone they are not online. It is important to be cautious when interacting with strangers online and to verify their identity before sharing any personal information.